Just checking the, the viewers. Welcome, Big Gunner Ewan Live, everyone. Tonight, we're kind of doing something special. We're out here at the uh, new range at 35. It's not quite open to public yet, but it is opening soon. Um, I wanted to first thank our sponsors for the show, BAT Arms at uh, BATArms.com, Eggleston Munitions at EgglestonMunitions.com, Applied Arsenal Solutions Gunworks at AAFDW.com, and I'm probably leaving someone else out, I'm sure. I'm trying to think. The Ranger 355. I know that. That's coming up last. So, oh. of course, we got, we got Pete at the Ranger 35 here, who's also sponsoring our show. So, tonight we've got in the house, we have with us Toby, um, our, oh, Tier 1 Training Corporation. That's who I'm forgetting. Tier 1 Training. And he's here with us, too, in the background with his mute mic muted right now. Um, so he's with us tonight with uh, audio. And uh, we got Ryan Wiggins with us, of course, um, our uh, gunsmith friend out in Arizona. And then Patrick. Dude, I, I didn't even know we were live. We are live. Yes. My we are So, and uh, we also got, like I said, Patrick from One Shot Kill Media. And we've got Night Strike from uh, GunChannels.com. If I'm saying it right, unless you want to introduce yourself and tell us who you are and where you're from. Yeah, I'm Night Strike, GunChannels.com. I also have a live show on Gun Channels. Hit or miss. Check that out one hour before Rick's show. There you go. Uh, I didn't do one tonight because uh, Every Second Matters was on. Yeah, that's uh, that's um, G-Web's show, right? Yeah, that's his show where he does on the second of every month. So, you know... Check that. Look out for that because he also does that in podcast form, so you could watch it later or listen to it later. Right on. Um, I'm gonna share the link because Ryan was just asking me. He didn't quite get the link to show people, unfortunately. So I'm gonna grab that and give it to him real quick. He also does that in podcast form. What's that? Oh, he does the um, G Web does the one, every second matters in podcast form. I didn't quite catch that. I'm sorry. I think that's feedback from someone else. Oh, okay. So, there you go, Ryan. Got the link out there. Thank you, sir. Um, so, yeah, tell us what we got going on. So, hey, welcome to the Range at 355. Thanks. So, uh, I know we've had a lot of uh, inquiries, and I we've been talking about it on your show for several months. And yes. Since you made me freeze. Yeah, the interview out in the cold a year ago. You can see, it's got like some a thousand plus views on it. People checking out the range that's not even open yet, and uh, that's good to see. Ryan, I didn't have the red beard, but I had the gray beard going then. So that's true. Yes. Here we are. We're close within. Uh, you don't have the beard, and I got the beard now. I know. It looks good too. <laughs> Thank mine's, you. Mine's still gray. So <laughs> mine's still we gray. are getting close. We're uh, finishing. Uh, few little items here on our punch list. Right on. We're not really too set up yet because we don't have our certificate of occupancy or our business license, but right. that is right around the corner. Cool. So how does our expected date for opening this? Program? Yeah, we we uh, uh, we were hoping for Monday, February eighth. We don't know if okay. we're gonna be able to pull that off because of the last obstacles that Paperwork. we have. But if it's if it's not the eighth it eighth, it will be no later than the fifteenth and we're Try and open as soon as we possibly can. Right on, of course. Um, I know it's much much anticipated for the area too. You guys got a lot of cool things going on, a lot of cool guns too. Which we'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, tonight we're also going to be doing a drawing um, for. You can tell us what the drawings for exactly. So don't mess it up. So we are uh, giving away a Facebook from Facebook a drawing for an annual membership. Okay. Provides unlimited range time, ability to reserve lanes. Nice. A few guest passes and a few gun rentals. The other is the same, a membership giveaway, and we'll be doing that from our mailing list. We uh, gather names from the mailing list. So one from Facebook, one from the mailing list. And cool. I think we announced about a week ago that we were giving the second one away. So tell everybody a little bit about what memberships are going to be offered to it here. So we're going to have uh, an annual membership that, uh, pro like I said, provides unlimited shooting. It's four ninety nine ninety nine. There's a discount for law enforcement, active and retired, active and retired military, cool. and active and retired fire EMS. Then we have a weekday membership that's Monday through Thursday. You know, we're not quite as big. 
busy. That's two ninety nine ninety nine. That's kind of a neat idea too for the people that it works better for them if they're you know scheduling and stuff kind of works out. Yeah, it works out. Money if, and you know, for the people that have the time, they can come in during the week. We've got a lot of people that have contacted us that have a little bit of discretionary time. Yeah. So it works out for them. Then we have a family seven ninety nine ninety nine three p that provides uh, unlimited <coughs> range time for three family members that live in the same house. Oh, that's that's really cool. So what what kind of stuff are you guys doing for, geared towards women too? Do you have some plans on that in the, right yeah, now? We have. We have some women's classes coming up. We'll be announcing those pretty soon. We might cool. do a test class next week. Because that's a big thing. I mean, to get women out and shooting and everything, especially in this area, too, in the suburbs. Exactly. You know? And uh, we want the women to come in here as our peers. And, you know, right we, we see a lot of fantastic women shooters. And, you know, we want them just to be shooters, not women shooters, just shooters with us. Yes, and that, exactly. That's the thing. It, it would be nice to have that, you know, even playing field as far as that goes, you know, in a sense. Exactly. So we're going to have different programs, and and we'll have programs to attract women into our sport. But uh, you know, like I say, there there are peers here. Right on. Cool. So um, what else do you want to cover? I want to start off with a little bit of uh, gun porn right off the bat. All right. So what do you want to show off first? Roy the Samurai Sanji's one of his favorite. Uh, you want to come toys. Out here with us? I think this is going to surprise you guys. Patrick, I think you're going to be surprised by this one. Okay, here we go. There you go. Nice. Golden boy. Yeah, the Henry repeating arms. Oop, Henry. Yeah. I don't know much. I mean, I don't know a lot about the company myself. I know it's the U.S., obviously. But uh, tell American, us a little about this. American classic. Yeah, this I is. I know that much. This is just a great little 22. Uh, with an octagonal barrel. Samurai, you oh, want to weigh cool. in on this? This is your favorite. Come on in. I don't yeah. know much about uh, the you can, Yeah, come on the side of this. You got a chair for Nice, you know, so. the traditional old uh, 22 mag tube on it. Got the octagonal barrel, lever action. Hi, everyone. Really a uh, sweet little rifle. Let's pass it over to the Samurai. And yeah. Then it's... This is the. If you guys got any questions, and if anybody on gun channels has any questions, let us know if you guys are monitoring that. Like this my, is more my style, blue with the octagonal barrel, 22. So I figure we would just start off tonight with a nice little American classic. Nice, no little 22. That's cool. Because they have other calibers, these too, don't they? Like, oh yeah. I, I thought so. Yeah. I'm like I didn't realize these were 22s. That's nice. Pretty cool. Definitely got some big bore stuff. Also, we. Uh, we're lucky enough to have a pretty good supply of 22 ammo for our opening. Nice. So <laughs> I've been hearing it's starting to come back. I don't know, Brian. Like, have you seen much about that? Like, what the ammo supply for 22 is like by you? But I've heard it's been getting better. Of course, he still has mic muted, so I don't know if we'll be able to hear him. My bad. My cat was going crazy back there. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> in the past couple of months, I've I've seen a couple of pallets of 22 come through our shop. So right on. At least now we're at that stage. It sounds like it's coming back in stock, and we'll be good for it. And it's good that you guys have a stockpile to start with. Yeah, I think it's still expensive in California. Well, what's not in California, right? Right. <laughs> the uh, the Pete and Samurai Safe will definitely have a nice little stash of of twenty two. So right on. We'll be good. We got a pretty good supply of Magnum as well. So. so. That's the way I, to start it off. I have to say, honestly, I'm probably more excited about the two bullpups behind you, too, that you're going to oh. show off a little bit. Well, we got a little bit. So we're, we're going from American classic to bullpup theme tonight. So yeah. <laughs> so we got a little Tavor action. We seem to be getting a little bit of excitement out of the Tavor. So, so just uh, give people a little idea of some of the uh, more interesting weapons that we'll have. This is... This is my new favorite over here that uh, Roy's got. The IWI Tabor. Or as I like to call it, the Iwi Tabor. Yeah, the Iwi Tabor. So sticking sticking with our bullpup theme, little uh, FN PS90 here. Never uh, never was a big fan of it, but i got to tell you, loving it. And I, I'm not I sure know. who the guy was that had the video saw in the pig in half on with a full auto I haven't seen that PS90 but this thing's got a great trigger nice snappy little trigger nice lightweight wow. little bullpup 50 round magazine it is just weird yeah. it's just it's different it's totally different I, I, I want to shoot one of these really it's totally actually. different and so 
with uh, Rick's request to have one of yes. these in our rental program, we're probably going to have to take him up on that and put one in the rental program. I, I don't know if anybody <laughs> if I has one in the rental program. I think that's awesome. This one is a uh, this one's a strange bird too because actually it's a nine millimeter. Yeah, oh, it is. It's nine. We've got. A, I didn't catch that. Yes. We've we got a, a five five six, but this is a nine bird. And uh, rather yeah, big. Weight. The balance is a little different. Obviously, you got the the majority of the weight in the back, and being a nine millimeter, you you, you got to wonder if this is uh, an efficient size for it. But it is cool. Oh wow. The uh, current. I, I just noticed too. This is kind of neat because I've never had one of these in my hand. The sights right through the uh, picket yeah. rail. There's that little tiny that little tiny hole in the picket rail, and it's got the sights built into it. That, that's really cool. It's kind of a weird. Uh, it is awesome. You'd have to to co-witness. You'd have to like do the ostrich or something like that. I don't. Yeah, I don't think. Really this is my it. yeah. <laughs> you can really my current favorite to go along with the uh, PS90 is the uh, FN57. Oh yeah. You know. From FN Herstal, 20 uh, 20 round mag for 5.7 by 28. Great little pistol, supposedly uh, you know carried by various law enforcement agencies. Wow. Using the, the FN 5.7s. Something else we'll have in stock if uh, if that doesn't end up in my personal safe, mine and Roy's. <laughs> But it's in stock and for sale now. Careful, you're on air. Yeah. <laughs> Careful on air. <laughs> yeah, it's not putting this trigger on it. But this has a, this must have a magazine disconnect. Apparently. Yeah. The trigger, yeah, you can't do the trigger pull with it. And this out. this it does have the big gunner pricing, you know, available. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, I just got to get the bigger money first to be able to buy it. <laughs> so we thought we would just go across the map there with a little bit of... Uh, yeah, some of the cool stuff. Um, some of the cool stuff to start off. So you guys got any questions or anything about what, what's going on here with Brian or Brian or Patrick or uh, Night Strike? I do. Toby's still muted, so I don't know. He's, he might be yeah. working right now. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How far out? Uh, how far outside of Chicago are you? Great question. About a half hour to forty minutes, Ryan. So we know we're not going to try to pry you out of Arizona during this nice <laughs> winter weather we're having. But so our big grand opening, you know, we're going to do a soft opening till we get our landscaping and our top coat of asphalt. So the big grand opening will probably be in April or May, and we get a lot of the manufacturers in. We'll get uh, Jake and Patrick down from Milwaukee. It with their uh, Devil Dog Arms video. Right on. And oh, tomorrow. Yeah, we'd love to have we, you come up, yeah. You can come stay with me, as you know. You're welcome, Ryan. So. And, we, and we'll party. Yes, we'll party. We'll have a good time. <laughs> and we can. Uh, we got plenty of room, so. Yeah. Look Definitely. forward Appreciate to having you come up. And we'll do, I was telling uh, Jake and Patrick, we'll run that, we'll run that DDA video where they, uh, Titled what AR-15 suck, right, Patrick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and basically, it was to get a lot of people's attention because the video certainly proved that the uh, DDA AR could handle a lot of torture testing, including kitty litter poured into the bolt carrier group. So. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's speaking of which, you see, I just started testing out those Amend 2 mags where I, I drove over with my truck. I, I saw them do it in one of their videos, and I wanted to make sure that you could actually do that with one, and I did it on. With my, my truck, that weighs 8,000 pounds, it's diesel, um, on, not just on asphalt, I did it on cement and ground it in the ground, turned the wheels on it and everything, and it ground the one face of it and it still loads and locks in and runs, and I threw it down range, dropped on the feed lips. And you guys will see this in a video coming out pretty soon on my channel, but uh, I'm pretty impressed with those Men 2 mags so far, so I want to throw that out there as far as the torture testing stuff goes. And uh, with Double Dog Arms, too, great company, great local company. Um, I am running some of their parts on my three-gun rifle as well now, as you may have seen in the video I have of it, which I actually brought the rifle with. Ryan, who knows I'm obsessed with it. Yep. And our wall uh, our wall here on the west side of our building, we have uh, several handgun cases, and we'll have a grid wire rack. 
it's kind of our Illinois manufacturing area where we'll highlight Double Dog Arms, Rock River, Civilian Force Arms, maybe DS Arms. We'll have Vulture Equipment Works knives over there. <clears throat> oh, cool. And uh, just to uh, highlight our neighbors here in Illinois. I know. I don't know if you wanted to show off any of the showroom here because it's not really set up yet. But like you said, on the one wall, when he points over there, there is a whole wall over there with, with uh, gun cases and stuff, just like there's kind of like behind us. So what what all is going to be behind us here? So this is uh, what uh, the supplier we bought from. They call it a HDPE case. It's a secure long gun case or rack, I should say. The long guns will be locked into there. Okay. So there's a lot uh, of slots over there. What's that, Ryan? <laughs> There's, there's a lot of slots over there. We're going to fill that rascal up, there's too. There's going to be a lot of good. <laughs> I'm excited. You'll yeah. need to send us pictures once you do. Yeah, we, we will, and that's what's going to happen next here. You know, like I said, because we don't have our certificate of occupancy, we can't – we have to make it look like we're uh, not quite moved in yet, So, which well, <laughs> we're not. Right. So we're still gearing everything's up. Everything's in boxes. <laughs> yeah, everything's in boxes, absolutely. Yeah, so – and uh, for these couple things he pulled out just to show off. Spitting and polishing the uh, ranges for photographs before we, uh, Roy and I did some noise testing in here. Yeah. A few weeks ago. That's what we called it, noise testing. Right. <laughs> we did a little nice. bit of sound testing, but we uh, now we're getting uh, everything spit shine for our photography, for our web page. Our web page is being revamped. We're excited about that's cool. Some of the preliminary looks of it so far. A lot of good information. Uh, getting our classes organized. And this is getting definitely getting a lot of attention here in the suburbs because even like right now I'm looking at our viewership and that's like seven times what we usually probably have <laughs> as far as viewers. Well, the good news is so, we'll be announcing our winners probably in ten or so minutes. So. Yeah, sure, exactly. So I also brought my rifle too. I can show you that one time. Some some more gun porn for the people who haven't seen my channel yet, who just tuned in tonight because the the uh, premiere of this. Um, oh, yeah, it's heavy. Ammo in here too? Yeah, there's ammo in there too, <laughs> of course. So <laughs> don't yeah. tell no one. Here's a question for you, quick. Um, what's the uh, largest caliber you guys are going to allow on that range? Great question. Basically, 30 cal. <clears throat> excuse me. Okay. 30 cal up to about 3,300 feet per second. Okay, sounds good. So we there can't a, run that double dog back in there? <laughs> not, the double dog back. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so you can allow 300 wound ag then? <laughs> yes. Yes. Our, let's put it this way. Our traps can handle up to 50 cal BMG. That's a DDA. Okay. No, this has got some parts. However, uh, oh. we, we want to keep it at basically okay. 30 cal. Sorry, I, don't get in front of you, but. I hear you, man. <laughs> so, Although we uh, we did talk to Double Dog here recently and are certainly on the list for for some of those uh, five tens that they are you're, you're, manufacturing. Well, we lost our camera up there. The so. camera went out. Yeah, it sure did. So I'm gonna turn this one on. It's gonna be closer up. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, sorry. You gotta look at the big mug. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> take the lower third off, so you guys don't have to see that too. Um, I like it. It's very skeleton. Very, uh, Thank you. I like these. Uh, sleek. So it does have some double dog arms parked in it. There was another question about the range uh, from sure. YouTube. Uh, they were wondering, are you going to have a, a separate pistol and rifle range, or is it just going to be just everything? Yeah, we have 16 lanes that can accommodate pistol and rifle. Okay. We Right now, one of our ranges have what we call blast defenders, and we could probably show you those before the end of the night. And that helps a little bit with some of the muzzle blasts from a long gun. We're going to put them on the second range. We don't have them here yet, but both ranges can accommodate rifle and handgun as well as rifle. Awesome. Love these. Uh, mission Force Tactical, right? Yeah, Mission, mission Force Tactical. Yeah. Mission Force Tactical. Close. Close enough. We got, uh, all right. Camera's back up. Yeah, I fixed the camera back up. We just lost the login on it. But, yeah. So, I did a video on this for everybody that could check it out on my channel to find out more. But as far as the double dog arms parts are concerned, um, I'll just mention a couple things first. For you guys that haven't seen this yet, just a little bit of gun porn. So You don't this, have to stop at a little. <laughs> 
This is the uh, F1 Firearms upper lower receiver set with skeletons. It's a three gun rifle, basically. It's what I built it for. Um, it's lightweight and everything. But uh, F1 Firearms, you can check them out. But this uh, came from uh, VAT Arms, one of my, my you know, sponsoring dealers. Um, and then, as far as the other parts, the serial code on here for you guys, uh, this was done by Applied Arsenal Finishes and Gunworks out in uh, Waterman, Illinois, here. It's local. And also, um, the other part I was going to mention is the Devil Dog, Devil Dog Arms parts, which Range 35 is the Devil Dog Arms dealer. You got the three gun comp on here, the ambidextrous safety selector, and um, <clears throat> also the double or the uh, ambidextrous uh, charging handle, and a couple other little parts for the lower, like the enhanced uh, bolt. I'm sorry, the enhanced mag release. So just here to throw that out there and show you guys since you haven't seen it in person yet. But I, I absolutely love this rifle. Yeah, looks Yeah. So Brandon over applied our slow finishes did a really nice job on that for me. So I can't thank him enough. We love it too, so don't leave your uh, gun bag laying around. Yeah, no, I might end up living here, right? So I don't know if it's changing on the, the view of the camera or not on its own or what, but we'll see. I'll move this a little closer. So, hey, how does someone uh, join the contest that you guys are doing? Is it, is it, ended, uh, it ended last week. Okay. So tonight's the giveaway. We wanted to be able to get organized for the giveaway tonight. So <clears throat> tonight is the giveaway. Here's one half of it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where's the other half of it? The other half uh, was done earlier today. Oh, okay. Because one was our mailing list. Okay. And the other one is... Uh, so do you already announce the winner on the mailing list? No, no. we're oh. doing it on Big Gunner 81 TV. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> so, 924. Yeah, we can go ahead and do it now. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. Let's see who's going to be our winner. Let's do it. We'll uh, we'll do the Facebook okay. first. So he, that? So you Here. forgot to do the whole thing, the dramatic thing you talked about earlier with the handcuff on it and bring it out. And everything. I was going to have the handcuff, but I thought <laughs> I was going to do some. So here we could... We'll give it another shake. Give it another shake. Have Samurai shake it, too. Oh, yeah. For good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Give it the shake, and then... All right. Okay. Not going to look and see who's going to shake some. Oh, I'm going to look. But... All right. So I think I got one in my hand. Okay. So... Go ahead. It, it's uh, Jamie Carlin. Jamie Carlin. We will be uh, reaching out to you on... on Facebook will send you a direct message and awesome. uh, and or email if you're on our mailing list too. We did a, basically a random number generator on our Facebook. We okay. did the letters of the alphabet first and then we counted the number on that alpha character and we did another one based on the uh, number. Okay. I believe it was 18. How many people do you have roughly en entered? Do you remember? Yeah, we have uh, one of the things... Uh, well, we had, I forget, 600 shares and likes in that on the Facebook page. But on, on our mailing list, we built up our subscriber base to about 900 people already. So we wanted to wow. try to make that a part of the contest as well since we had such a great response there. I know you started early on, well before opening it, getting the word out about the range was great. We um, did, and, and thanks to you as well from last well, year. You're welcome. So... Uh, Jamie Carlin is our Facebook winner, our mailing list winner. As I said, I think it was number 18 on the random number generator out of 26. Then we took the people that, uh, all the people that were in there, it was 30-something uh, T's, in fact. And the winner from our mailing list is Wade Tabor. Wade Tabor is the winner of our second membership. So congratulations to both... Uh, Jamie Carlin and Wade Tabor, we hope to see both of you in here a lot once we get open. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. Um, there was a question, too. I don't, I don't know if we addressed that. I know, I know I've asked this before, too, like as far as uh, will there be any uh, pistol leagues to join at the range um, here or like any competitions or anything? That's yeah, absolutely. Fun. We, uh, you know, we're... <clears throat> Roy and I and, uh, and our team are, are trying to get past all the critical tasks right, right. now. Right. you got to get opened up and get some stuff settled. And those we've things given out. a lot of thought over the last couple of years. We certainly will. Uh, maybe some, you know, two-gun stuff inside the range, some pistol matches. I'm a, <clears throat> I'm a old bullseye shooter. I mean old. Right. And bullseye. 
from back in the day when, you know, it was either pretty much bullseye or combat. Right. So I just recently <laughs> did a combat shooter, uh, what do they call it, a combat shooter. It's kind of like a US PSA derivative, I guess, you know, like an outlaw match or something they call it. Um, that was pretty cool. And it, you know, it was an indoor range and everything. Yeah, we definitely, in uh, the Samurai and I, plan to start our days with a little match for, for lunch. Yeah, I heard that. That's so a little competition <laughs> for lunch. I'm sure I'll be buying a lot of lunch, but I'm not going to give up that easy. No, I, so, hey, 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 I got a question for you. Sure. Is it, you guys got one big bay out there, or do you have multiple bays? Yeah, we have two eight-lane bays, Ryan. You two eight-lane bays. So there's a wall in between the two bays? There is. Okay, cool. Yeah. I was just thinking, like, stage design? Yes, because Ryan, being a match director, you know, he thinks of those kind of things, like the logistics part of it, too. Ryan, we've got some cool ideas for... We didn't do a second deck on the range right now, but our our walls are 32 feet high so that we could do a second deck. We have a second floor just above us with nice. classrooms, a lounge, conference room, a couple of our offices, uh, file storage and that. Over the range, it's still an open bay, but we've got we've already got design plans to build up and do a second deck where we would probably do a tactical range. Like a shoot house. That would be sweet. Yeah, exactly. And Roy and I have one or two repetitions in, in live firehouses, so the there you go. <laughs> be home week for us. Nice. Yeah, I, th I definitely think the league, like, like uh, not a league, but um, having that would be a very good benefit. For yeah, sure. and the, we've had, we have, uh, we've been contacted by quite a few groups that that have their own leagues that want to come in maybe a little bit earlier before we open and okay and do some things on the range. So. Speaking of that, what are the hours going to be too? So the hours during the week, Monday through Friday, will be open seven days a week. Monday through Friday, it's, it's 10 to 9. Okay. We're still looking at 8.30 or 9 start time on weekends okay. with a closing time around 7 o'clock in the evening. Okay. So. Right on. And then, I mean, I don't know if it's a possibility, too. Obviously, you're still formulating ideas on the uh, doing, like, um, leagues or any competitions, maybe doing extended hours or something for that specifically. Yeah, that's the nice thing about maybe. some of the uh, some of the hours. You know, on weekdays, <clears throat> you can always do things earlier. Yeah. We want to we want to keep some availability for law enforcement if they need to use the range. Right on. Um, we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, sessions where it's it's law enforcement only. They can come in for two or three hours and be with their peers. You know, Roy and I know from wearing the uniform for many years that. Sometimes it's just kind of nice to not be under the microscope when you want to get some trigger time. We're also going to have some yeah. sessions for uh, fire and EMS, and and we're going to be doing a lot of military stuff as well. That's cool. We so, got a question real quick about uh, about your rifle range. Yes, sir. Uh, do, will you allow seven six two by thirty nine because it's technically thirty cal? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we, we will, but uh, we won't allow the steel case or the bimetal ammo. Okay. And, and that, you know, the AK rounds are part, especially some of the inexpensive stuff is primarily bimetal. Okay. That's very true, yeah. Might just have to use Eggleston munitions. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> sure. But, I mean, they, that's just, that's a fear reloader, though, of course. Right. Of course. Um, they're really good guys. In fact, uh, Hunter Kale, our, our friend Hunter, uh, Nubs, you know, no handed shooter, he just uh, got set up with them. No. Dude. Yeah, he has no hands. He's no, I met him. Yeah, you met him. Okay. Yeah, yeah he's an awesome guy. Awesome yeah, guy. so the the budget Tula and and that is not going to be. Yeah, I I was pulling out some Tula ammo today and I was looking at it and like they, they changed like the recent stuff over. You know, obviously the steel case, but I don't know if the jacket was still copper before when it was still copper colored or if it was bimetal. I don't remember. But now they're like zinc plated, but it must have like steel in the in that projectile as well. So that's that's a no go at the range, for sure. You know. So no steel casing. Well, the jacket, the steel case, steel jacket, not well, allowed here. Well, when we hear steel casing, he's thinking of like not what, where it would normally be brass, the the housing of it. No. no. Okay. Well, the problem, I mean the problem with the steel case ammo is again you're dealing with the bimetal bullets. You know, so a lot of the steel case ammo is bimetal. That's right, it's hard to differentiate. You have to be checking every single one of them with the magnet and stuff. So it says might as well just throw the whole out, not not run it at all. Basically, 
mean, yeah, at least indoors. Right, right. Well, I know even in competitive use, competitive use, like if you're shooting steel, obviously that's another thing. Like Ryan knows, you know, like you can't use like steel core or bimetal stuff, like with uh, any of the steel targets in, in competitive stuff. Unless you're shooting paper, you know. Right. Yeah, if you're not supposed to do that. Are you guys shooting into uh what what's your backstop like? Is it one of those uh rubber walls? Like a No, that's that's the issue. We're using steel backdrop uh backstops. So, so it's our funneled. Funneled. It is. And our and our plates and our deceleration chambers are three eighths inch AR five fifty. So we've got a robust trap system. We want it to last for years and years of enjoyment for our, our customers and friends. So that's Definitely. why we just we we want uh, to get as much life out of it as we possibly can. Right. Makes sense. Like Especially at this phase of the project. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know, and just like you said it's, it, before, it's rated for 50 caliber, but you're not going to do it because that's going to tear it up too quick. Yeah, yeah and, and I don't know that I want to be the person standing next to, yeah. <laughs> to the guy with the Barrett when uh, I get my bell <laughs> wrong and my fillings loosen. <laughs> How long is the range? 25 yards. Okay, that's how how big or how long the ranges that I work at or work inside of. We sh we shoot into rubber over there. I was just reading his message that he sent over here uh, from G Webs here. Um, Looks intriguing. Yeah, yeah, we're all yeah, we're all we leaning can... forward. I'm leaning forward too. <laughs> <laughs> What's the yeah, question? No, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm it's not trying. a question. It's uh, he wants to to do a DPG, and uh, if he if you wouldn't mind, plug the AK uh, project he's got going. Yeah, go. Ahead. I'll let you tell about it, Mike, because you know more than I can tell about it. Well, uh, daily patch giveaway is uh, it's a, a thing for all the live shows on Gun Channels. So basically, if you host a live show here on Gun Channels, uh, it's invite only, of course, uh, to do the DPG. But uh, you host the show. You can give out patches, and more or less, uh, you know, we just give out patches. Now he's doing a thing. He he's giving out three spam cam patches in this in the you know seven six two by fifty four R spam cans. Right on. And it's to uh, he's giving out three. He wants me to give uh, or you to give out three for the uh, the uh, the thirty Indiegogo uh, thirty dollar Indiegogo project he's got because he's going he's uh starting to set up a, a Kalashnikov's buyer's guide so people know right. what Kalashnikov's are. You know, there's so many out in the market. You, you know, you want to make sure you get a good one and not a bad one. He, two, two things I was going to ask, too, about that. So he, I know he's actually going to be coming up to Illinois, too, to, to check out Krebs and uh, Matacor and all those guys. Uh, that's at least that's part of the plan as far as I heard it. Yeah. But um, how is the giveaway? How does he want us to do the giveaway exactly? Uh, I think... I think uh, it's either on, have to it, obviously. Yeah, yeah. E either on gun channels or I guess if uh, you want to do someone on YouTube, just uh, pick someone. Too. <laughs> yeah, we could do yeah. that. But uh, so what, how do we just do this? I'll post it after the show, so you guys go on the Facebook because I can't do it right now. Um, I'll post up a giveaway on there, and uh, we'll draw somebody for next week's show. You can ask them if that'll work because I don't. Obviously, you're talking with them. Now he's going to be quiet. But, uh, yeah. I had, he said just give it to anyone. Give it to anyone, he said? Yeah, just pick someone either on YouTube or on uh, Gun Channels. I like I like free things. All right. We're going to pick somebody out of our random box right here. Since we have we have some more giveaway stuff, so we might as well just do it here. So we've got some patches we're going to be giving away through uh, G-Webs. Yeah. Yeah, a, uh, a set of three patches, which is the uh, three seven six two by fifty four R spam cam patches. Gotcha. So the person I just pulled out, their name is uh, Jake Jorgensen. If I'm pronouncing it right. So Jake we'll, Jorgensen, step on down. Yeah. So we'll send him. We'll get with Webs and we'll make sure that Jake uh, gets some patches through him. I always wanted to say that. And send that link to the uh, buyer's guide too. Yes, we'll send a link out to the buyer's guide, and I'll, I'll post it on my channel. Yeah, and throw it back in. There. Thanks, thanks, uh, G Web. Yes, which uh, he he's like the uh, invisible man. He doesn't have any pictures anywhere, <laughs> so you don't know what he looks like or anything about him. But he's out there on gun channels doing the live chats and stuff. He's um, watching. He's what well, he is watching. I'm sure. So um, got that out of the way. The thing I was going to ask, speaking of the AKs and his AK project, which is that. Uh, 
if you go on Indiegogo dot com, you can search for a Kalishnikov uh, buyer's guide and uh, look for G Webs on there. He's got a video about it, and it's just the letter G W E B S. That's how he spells it. Um, I think he also has that video on YouTube as well, so you can do a little search on that. But I'll post the link up for it as well. Um, but speaking of AKs, are you going to have one in the rental, possibly? Possibly. You know, because that's something I I have yet, believe it or not, for all the talk about ARs and, and AKs, I have not shot an AK yet. That's so you're doing you're doing rentals. We are. So I heard. Sweet. Yes. Well, you did you miss the part about the the uh, PS90? Oh, I know you guys. I didn't know it was a rental. Sorry. Yeah, I thought we were just playing with guns. You're putting one in the rental program. Brian, right, we've got a special request for the PS90 from Big Gunner 81. I did so ask there you go. I wouldn't mind getting a little trigger time on on this <laughs> on a daily basis. Are you? Can you get your? Uh, you can get your SOT over there, right? On top of your FFL. Can you get your SOT in Illinois? And make that thing full auto for rental purposes. We we. No. What's that? No. Yeah, I don't think you'd want to go that route in a, in a range. <laughs> Just curious. We'll come down to Arizona and get that. Yes. I'm gonna yeah, there you go. Because I like that video that you did. I can get it in South Carolina. Yeah, thanks for rubbing that in there. <laughs> but, uh, I, if you guys haven't seen the video, right? I don't know, where, where can they find that? The one that you had, was just on your Facebook where you're like slow motion, full auto, smiling? No, I, I, think, I think that was an Instagram video. Was it? That was hilarious. It was like you and who else was with you on that? Oh, my buddy TJ, my assistant match director. Right on. That yeah. was a, a, a team building event for uh, one of the companies I work for. Just cool. Went out and sh- sh- event with some machine guns. That's that's awesome. Team building. Yeah, you can you can see that at uh, Vigilant Beard on Instagram. There you go. Yeah, Vigilant yeah. Beard on Instagram. You guys, if you look at my Instagram at BigGunner81 or Instagram.com forward slash BigGunner81, I tag a lot of stuff that Ryan does. In fact, (laughs) Ryan is not only a match director, but he was also featured in 3 Gun Nation magazine recently. Oh, shit. (laughs) If only you had the magazine here to show that he was actually there. I I left it at my house. I don't have it with me, but he probably has one right there. He's probably probably sitting on his neck. No, I don't. (laughs) You know what? Uh, Actually, there was a... uh, uh, a new shooter, uh, a young girl shooter, showed up with her father to my three gun match, and they were interested in three gun. They're like, "Yeah, we shoot sporting clays and pistol, and I want to get her into three gun because it seems like the most, you know, high speed extreme shooting sport." Yes. And I told them to go into the stat house, and I had my my copy in there, and they they took it with them. So, oh, so you lost your copy? I think I'm gonna get some more. But <laughs> hey. Well- well, in a couple more weeks from now, we're going to be down in Florida too. For those that don't know this, um, we're going to be me and Ryan will be shooting on that same squad too. Actually, at the uh, Three Gun Nation Southeast Regional down hashtag in hashtag uh, Squad Seven. Yes, for the hashtag for the greater good, <laughs> and then the hashtag Wigging Out. <laughs> no. So uh, yeah, you can watch those because we throw those hashtags out there, just like the Sig Sugar one too. I started using because I'm, I'm a big Sig fan, as you know. So, why you got yours on you? No, no. <laughs> oh, it's like reaching back there. I'm like, nope. <laughs> nice. Uh-oh, Barry's got a gun. Yeah, speaking of, of uh, that, too, we also, Barry from BHT Arms didn't pop in tonight. He might be tied up with something. He was thinking, he said he might be able to make it, but he didn't. And Toby's been silent, so I assume he's probably working, or maybe his audio is not working right now for him. But he's still on my screen anyway, which he's also going to be there with us as well. In fact, I'm riding down there with him. He's our team captain for tier, the tier ah, for the tier one marksmanship team, or tier team tier for short. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Okay, they, we got another question for the range guys. Absolutely, yes, sir. Uh, one of the guys on YouTube was asking if your range was going to be uh, friendly to uh, new shooters as well. Absolutely. I mean, we. Uh, Part of our big focus is on new shooters. We certainly want to grow the sport, like Ryan was talking about with uh, the father-daughter team. So we're going to be doing a lot of new shooter stuff, and we're going to have kind of progressive programs where we uh, bring in new shooters and run them across a 10-week program, uh, defensive pistol, some competitive-type stuff, all of that. We're going to be doing some (coughs) pistol stuff, some rifle courses, all kinds of stuff. We're going to be doing reloading, 
you know, gun talk, like AR-15 nomenclature, what the hell is furniture, right? Nice. So things like that. We're going to be do, we're going to do build it classes. So we're going to do a lot of things geared toward new shooters. We've got um, from Ryan's neighbor down there, we're going to be carrying Dylan reloading equipment. So Sweet. we're excited about that. We're going to, Roy and I have a pretty nice loaded up XL650 that we're going to be bringing out for our classes. Right. So, yeah, we want to do a lot of things to, to grow the sport and get people comfortable. And that's one of the things, when you, uh, when you walk into the range, you'll see videos on our new website that show you what you can expect. Mm -hmm. and, and we want to take away the intimidation factor of everybody thinking that uh, you have to be a ranked three-gunner or a ranked you know, yeah. USPA shooter or whatever. You know, we want people to come in from the newest shooter to the most advanced shooter. And we, uh, the big focus of our range is customer service, take away the intimidation factor. You can see by the decor here, you know, we've tried to keep it uh, a warm environment. Yeah, I mean, they can't see the whole thing, but you get the gist of the colors and stuff like that. And it's Plus, kind of uh, yeah, our, our RSLs are experienced instructors, so, you know, it's not, uh, it's not going to be um, all safety, although it's paramount. You know, they're going to be back the line and they're going to offer tips. And, um, you know, so they have a lot to offer from a teaching standpoint. Right. Here's a Whoop. question for you guys, sure. too. Not trying to interrupt anybody, no, but if somebody no, yeah. is visiting the range from out of state, are they going to have to obtain a void card of some sort before being allowed to shoot or anything along those lines? So Patrick's asking me if he comes out from, from Wisconsin, does he have to have a void card to come shoot? Well, you can't get a void card, but... It is required for Illinois residents. Here's a question, too, as far as the rentals. Um, or also as far as ammo and stuff. Because they don't have a FOID card, can they purchase ammo? From out of state? Yeah, if they're like, say they're from Indiana or Wisconsin or something like that, and they come in and they're out, out of town, can they actually purchase ammo without a FOID? Well, they can purchase ammo uh, as long as they meet the requirements of their home state, and we have a collar state. Uh, statute. So, okay. Kentucky, Indiana, Wisconsin. So, if they're like from like Missouri. Oklahoma or something, then they no. can't. Yeah, but at least like Colorado State. So, so Illinois, so, did, Illinois doesn't uh, reserve, uh, respect uh, or have uh, reciprocation with uh, carry permits from other states. No, 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 not yet. Not at least not at this point. Not yet. So if, I, if I bring my FFL, can I buy some ammo and rent one of your guns? <laughs> Wouldn't that be a different scenario if he has an F he's, he has an FFL? Well, no, uh, wouldn't they have to, wouldn't they have to ship it to your FFL location and then you'd have to go and take it over there or drive over there with it? You're talking about firearms or ammo? Ammo. Outside the college states, I believe so. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. One thing I was gonna speaking of ammo and stuff. Well, a couple things actually. I was gonna ask two questions. One one before I forget this. We we're talking about new shooters and stuff. The uh, amenities. What kind of amenities do you have besides the you know range and the all this stuff? Vending machines. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. <All> right. <laughs> we have. <laughs> we have uh, we're gonna have a. For right now, we've had interest in in people opening a restaurant up on the second floor. Right. So we are in discussions with some people. So nothing's finalized with that stuff yet. Nothing's finalized. We do have uh, <clears throat> we do have a few swanky. Vending machines that we'll have in the building. <laughs> you know, a restaurant. I, yeah, I directed our, and we've got relationships with, with uh, like different food restaurants and stuff. Yeah, yeah. with uh, Al's Pizza up the street. We were contacted by Gordon Biersch, the brewery across the highway. Um, graciously reached out to us. So there's a lot of great places. Of course, they're not going to deliver beer, but they'll bring you food. Yeah, we we have our own <laughs> supply of warm beer here. <laughs> so, so we've had uh, we have a, a lot of great locations close by. The nice thing about Bolingbrook, the mayor and the village are very business friendly. They've been very welcoming, getting us open, and there's a lot of great facilities right across the highway. That's what I was gonna say. We're we're in an area where things are not that far apart from where, where this is at. It's not like it's in the middle of nowhere. It's in suburbia, so there's a lot of you know restaurants and other retail shops and things around here. So that's kind of cool. Um, the other question I was going to ask too is about ammo and stuff, like um, specifically shotguns. 
what what are your restrictions on shotguns and stuff? Right? Yeah, no birdshot or buckshot because but slugs. Of, yes, and because of the the tracks <clears throat> and some of the components. Our tracks run are run by wire. Right. So yeah, plus you got a whole bunch of little projectiles everywhere like exactly. that can bounce around. So it's a one solid projectile. For if sure. we knew, and you know, there's a there we get a lot of questions. Can we shoot off the bench? Can we do rapid fire and stuff? Yeah. You know, one of the things that people have to realize, and Ryan, you probably see it all the time, you know, depending on how tall you are or not tall you are, shooting off of a bench mm -hmm. can can lead to a yeah an angle that, you know, heads up into the uh, tracks and all the rest of this stuff. So right. we're working on providing some target adapters that are lower. We do have all of our bench heights and bench widths are ADA yeah. Compliant. So if you're in a wheelchair handicapped, you can get in here to shoot. Exactly. And then the the two that we have that have the controls lower as well that oh, are cool. primarily for for accessibility right are on. right inside the doorway. So th those are some things we have to adapt and get the targets lower. So we're uh, we're still yeah, tweaking some of that. Adapt yeah. is a good word too, because obviously you know. They're going to be opening soon, and there's going to be a learning curve with some things, I'm sure. Just a well, new business. You met our neighbor, Wally. We have a oh, yeah. neighbor that's a World War II vet that comes by all the time. I told him I'm going to take his lunch money for <laughs> uh, for some shooting over here. And uh, he told me he's left-handed. He's going to sandbag me. But anyway, <laughs> Wally, has, Wally has been in. Wally rides a, a scooter. And he's been in here a couple times now, and, and oh, cool. he's actually been inside the building now. We're fully accessible. Awesome. Yeah, I, I saw him out here when the building was still going up before the walls were finished and everything. And really nice guy. You know, rides his, actually rides a scooter from the houses nearby all the way down here. And so. and uh, you know, we certainly roll the red carpet out for his service as well. Absolutely. If he if he uh, never spent a penny in here, he'd be a welcome neighbor for us. Yeah. Well, folks, I'm going to have to step away. All right, Roy. Good to Good, see you. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Take care. All right, we got another question for the for range. Great. What are going to be the prices for uh, the veteran yearly price and the law enforcement yearly price, if they're different or whatnot? They are, and I would have to take a look. Like, I think it's... Uh, I'm not sure what the what it is offhand, but if they, I could tell you this. So our our lanes are twenty one ninety nine and twenty four ninety nine. One of the the eight lane ranges has higher level controls. It's got the blast defenders. The it's five dollars for vets, and that it's five dollars off. I I'd have to look and see what it is for the annual membership. But they get a, I believe. Right off the top, they get a 5% discount on firearms. I think a 10% discount on accessories and that. But uh, off the top of my head, I'm not really sure. But please tell us when you come in that you're law enforcement, military, fire EMS. Or veteran, right? Veteran. Like Ryan. Yep. <laughs> I'm just looking at your face, though. I'm just like, yeah. You can tell by the operator beard you got going on, right? Navy Navy vets especially welcome, Ryan. Thanks, man. I, w I would like to come out for the grand opening. I think that would be fun. Yeah, definitely. we got a little like bit said, of time to get that planned. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, you're welcome to stay with us, you know, with me and everything, so you don't have to worry about having to have a hotel or anything. So just get yourself here, and we'll have fun. Cool. Yeah. And uh, I'm looking forward to weeks from now, 27th, 28th, we'll be down in Florida shooting. So that's going to be cool because for those that don't know, Ryan is out in Arizona. They didn't catch that earlier. So, you know, he's he's way far apart. But we uh, we got to hang out together out in uh, SHOT Show this year, and uh, that was a blast. You know, we recapped that, like, was it last week? I think we, we talked about that on the show. Yep. Did everybody get squatted up? Yes, we did, Toby. There you are. Is that Toby? Yeah. Yep, yeah. Sorry about that. I've been I've been watching and, and listening a little bit, but I had a couple of uh, things going on here that I had to had to deal with. Like we said, hashtag Squad Seven, hashtag for the greater good. Hey, Toby. Let me know if I start giving you guys too much feedback, and I can mute or something. 
Yeah, if you want to move between talking, that might not be a bad idea. We've lost. Oh, I lost my camera. That's what we lost. I'll just revert to this one, and we'll uh, we'll talk on this one instead, since we're it's going to drop that that call for a reason. Of course, every time we move the table, it's going to move the camera. So I don't know if that. There we go. A little bit better. So, um, yeah, we got squatted up, squad seven, down there at uh, Three Gun Nation uh, Southeast Regionals and all that. So. Yeah. Yes, that's going to be a lot of fun. We'll be the first squad to get kicked out total. Everybody. Everybody's gone. <laughs> no. Yeah, I hope not. In fact, so, we who's too. the captain of your squad? Uh, well, I don't think they normally do squad really, captains. Yeah, there really isn't squad captains because the squad is like a. It's kind of like whoever group. It's just a group of people that get together and shoot on that particular stage, kind of, in a way to put it. It's not really. Boys, uh, we're gonna we'll be together for two days, but we're gonna shoot every stage together, reset everyone our own targets and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. But, and so, you know, as far as team captain, I mean, I'm going on down with team tier with Toby, so he's our team captain for that. But um, I, I don't know. Who, we got one of the one of the guys is gonna go with us too, right? Just me, you, and one of the guy, Toby. I can respond. Right, you, me, and Hayden, and then uh, Joe Burdick, who actually shoots with. Uh, Team Cantrol, but uh, started out with us. Uh, he'll be down there. Right on. So he'll be on our squad too. You're saying? Yeah, him and uh, our buddy Bill, who also is a Team Cantrol shooter. Uh, they'll be they'll be squatted up with us, and uh, we'll we'll all be on the same same group there. I'm looking forward to coming in dead last on that thing, but I'm just gonna have fun doing it. Positive vibes. We'll have fun. I know. What's that, Ryan? <laughs> So you'll have fun. Just don't DQ. You'll be good to go. That's my whole go. <laughs> don't, right. DQ, don't DQ and you're almost guaranteed to walk the prize table, dude. Don't know what you'll get, but uh, right. almost everybody walks it for something. That's right. cool. My my, uh, my title sponsor, Wilderness Tactical Products, they're, uh, Samantha from over there, she always tells me, just don't suck. <laughs> yes, that's the idea. Just try not to suck real bad and... Uh, have fun doing it, and that's what I'm looking forward to, really. You know, like I always say that in my show, you know, have fun shooting, and uh, that's kind of what it's all about. You know, I want to help encourage people to get out there and, and who may be thinking about trying out comp competitive shooting and stuff that haven't done it yet, to come out and do it. You know, because it's a great community. There's a lot of great people. Like I met all you guys. You know. Yeah, yeah, getting all sappy. What's yeah. that? No, that's I just sand you. in your eyes. Remember, you're in Arizona. <laughs> If you think we're like gonna hug and cry when we drop you off at the end of the weekend, Rick, uh, you're 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 mistaken. Uh, I thought you were gonna say he's exactly right. Well, you know, if you guys want to get any practice in on your way down to Florida, come to my house. I got thirty go. acres out back. Mm, nice. Sweet. Yes, Toby. He's been asking me to come to his house. He said, "But make sure you call before you come because because otherwise I'm gonna have my guns out." <laughs> well, you know, Probably I'm always walk. oiling them, so why not, right? <laughs> You got uh, lots gotta, of wildlife to play with down there? Uh, I got to keep those AR-15s wet, right? Well, reasonably speaking, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, we got another uh, another question for uh, the Range 355 guys. So uh, yeah. they wanted to know uh, about will you guys uh, have gunsmithing services and will you do transfers? That's a great question. We will do transfers. Uh, at the moment, we're still interviewing gunsmiths, so we won't have a gunsmith. We likely won't when we open the door. Uh, we are working on that. It's important to us. And sweet. We will do transfers. I know Ryan's ears perked up. He's like, hmm, maybe I should move up to Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Illinois. Change, change a whole bunch of laws and yeah, exactly. maybe I think about it. Yeah, I was going to say, never in, in the history of guns has a gun-loving person gone, I'm thinking about moving to Illinois. <laughs> I know. I'm you say the this. same thing about California, New York, and New Jersey. Well, I was going to say, unless they get hired at one of our great manufacturers here. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, we got Devlog Arms and, uh, you know, Springfield Armories here and Rock, um, Rock, Rock River, River Arms. Um, CFA, Civilian yep, Force, Force Arms. Arms, and then uh, Armalite. There's a whole long list. There's more, I'm, but we'll just leave it at that. So, but uh, 
Yeah, and um, you know if you guys got anything else you want to wrap it up with because we're about at time here, so uh, we won't keep everybody. But uh, just like to thank everybody for uh, tuning in to Big Gunner eighty one TV tonight, and uh, for all the questions and for participating. We look forward to getting this place open after all this hype for crying out loud. I look forward to being open too. Yeah, definitely. It's like five minutes away from me, so you know. Like Quit, tell us when you're gonna open. We've been. We're still trying for Monday the 8th. We don't know that we'll get our certificate of occupancy. It's it's basically on us right now. We we were delayed. We've got a weird situation here. We have to get water and sanitary through the adjoining village, and that took a while. So uh, we're finalizing the sanitary right now. We're trying to get open on the 8th. It's starting to look unlikely, but no later than the 15th. Awesome. Sweet. So, Ryan, it gives you time to plan to come up here. Well, it's technically not the grand opening, but that's their, their soft opening, I guess you'd say. Yeah, the grand opening, like I said, we're going to wait till all the landscaping is done. We we got close to, a little bit too close to winter. We've got a second layer of asphalt that goes on. We'll have landscaping looking pretty. Our pond is in, and, and today filling up pretty fast with all the rain we've had. But um, April, April or May, we'll do a big blowout grand opening. There you go. That'll work. We'll see what matches Brian has going on then, and if we can yeah. make it out here. So I know we have actually a couple of matches coming up. We have, I think the dates exactly off the top of my head for ASC for the three-gun match. We have four three-gun series. We have four matches coming up this year. I know one is going to be July, but there's one I think before that. So I'll get the dates posted up on my Facebook so you guys you can know, check it out too. April 2nd, we're in Alabama. What, what are you shooting for that one? What's that match? Three Gun Nation Southern. Oh, uh, you know, I I would only put my name on the one for the one in South. Th this one that we're going to, and the one in South Carolina, I'm on the waiting list. So maybe I'll put my name on the waiting list if if uh, Toby. I don't know if you're going down to one in Alabama too or not. If you can respond. I to I am not going to Texas and Utah. Utah, I'm uh, in one of my one of my guys' weddings, and uh, Texas, I'll actually be in North Carolina shooting. Uh, the Tar Heel uh, Three Gun Challenge. What about Alabama? Man? Oh yeah, I'll be at the rest of the Three Gun Nation uh, regional okay. series matches. Maybe, maybe I'll put my name on the waiting thing for that too, if I can get do it. You down there. It's a beautiful range. I'm just, I love doing it. We'll you know see how it goes and everything, but uh, yes, you guys can. Is that that Brock's Gap again? Yeah. That that range was nice, and the people down there, the the. Uh, range members that helped run the thing were phenomenal. I just, nice that, that first mile when you pull in, it feels like you're driving through Middle Earth. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, no doubt. I'm going to be worried about whether I can get my trailer through there or not. Right on. That's, that's true, too, because we're, we're going down, especially like Florida, too, with the team trailer as well with all the gear and everything. So that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know if... Uh, uh, Toby, if you want to throw anything else out there, I'll start with you. You guys, uh, I just, I kind of, I kind of feel like I just got here, probably because I just got here. <laughs> I uh, we no, can I, hang out uh, afterwards. It's all right. Uh, yeah, you know, if everybody wants to keep an, an eye on our website, cause we're going to start putting our training dates out uh, now. I've, I've actually appointed one of my guys as a scheduling manager because I'm horrible at it. Uh, we'll have our, our basic and uh, our fighting fundamentals classes coming out, and then. Uh, I teach all our, our advanced level classes, so uh, those will be coming out soon, too. Uh, that Keep your eye on all the the shooter pages, because there's going to be lots of exciting stuff coming out. So, tier one training. Right. You check out the uh, scheduling there for tier one training. And, uh, you know, also, if they want to check out, they've got, you've got a Facebook for that, too. It's tier one training as well. Right. right, we've got Tier 1 Training Corporation, and then uh, for the shooting team, we've got uh, Tier Marksmanship Team, and then uh, my my competitive shooter page. Right on. Which, a lot of you guys out there watching might have gotten invites from me for that, too, as well, so go ahead and click those invites and go check them out. Same with Ryan. Ryan's got his app, Ryan Wiggins. So, uh, Ryan, do you got anything you want to throw out there for this week? No, uh, I don't think so. I'm excited for you guys to get that range squared away. It's going to be cool. Yeah. Thanks, That'll Ryan. Fun. Yeah. And no, no interesting gunsmithing stories, huh? Uh, 
I don't think so. There's something something crazy happened today, but I, I can't remember. Okay, well, make Sorry. it nice you can cover it. And I don't know, next week if we're going to do the uh, wilderness or not, you keep me posted on that if we're going to do the live feed from there. All right. Uh, We'll talk about that and keep everyone else. I'll keep everyone else posted as well on the Facebook. And uh, Patrick, I know you've got your giveaway going on, so I don't know if you got anything else you want to plug. Uh, yeah. Well, first off, just congrats, Pete, and I hope to see everything up and running there soon. And then um, I'll definitely make the trip down, man. So I, I will see you there ASAP. And then, yeah. Um, yeah, with the with the giveaway, we'll be putting that rifle together likely end of this week or early next week. So we'll have that rifle complete, have the videos up, pics of that, everything too, and just kind of keep rolling through on that giveaway. It's, um, everybody had an too. it's not guaranteed yet, but we might do some things to try to accelerate the giving away of the rifle as well. Um, so we can kind of get on to some of the other giveaways that we have planned for this year. So we'll see what happens there. Um, but if, if you're not in on it yet, go to the One Shot Kill It Media uh, YouTube page or Facebook page uh, or Instagram, any one of those, and you'll see information on that giveaway and what you need to do to you know, sign up for it and get registered in to, to actually win that. So. <laughs> but, yeah, man, that's about it. That's what we got rolling right now. And then, uh, of course, you'll see a lot of SHOT Show videos coming out on the MGS uh, YouTube channel. That's where we're putting all of our SHOT Show content. Right, for MGS Firearms, check them out, mgsfirearms.com, and also on Facebook, MGS Firearms. Uh, great company up in Wisconsin, the Menominee Falls, that Patrick works with uh, them for their videos and media, so definitely go check yeah. them out. Um, and Night Strike from Gun Channels, I don't know if you got anything you want to throw out there, what you got going on with your channel and your, your uh, show and everything. Uh, just, uh, you know, check gunchannels.com for uh, hit or miss. That's my show I do every Tuesday, an hour before you. Right on, exactly. So you guys can... Watch Gun Gun TV for like several hours on Tuesday night. Yeah. Uh, or listen to, I guess, because a lot of times uh, Night Strike, you guys don't do cams a lot on there. Well, Nathan does his camera. I don't do my camera because he, I'm kind of shy about social media. So. I hear you. So uh, I guess that, you know, that's pretty much it. If you want to add anything else to you. Oh, thank you very much, Rick. Well, thank you. Been a, thank you uh, for having me out, too. You know, this fun, is a great thing. Fun, oh, one uh, last thing, Rick. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Tony. Oh, sorry. I, I'm I'm getting delayed reactions here when people start talking, so I apologize for interrupting. But uh, we just got a big box of uh, parts and swag from our friends over at uh, or3gun.com. So I awesome. wanted to thank them for uh, their continued support through the shooting season and all their parts for uh, keeping the JM 930s on the team up and running fast and running good. Yes, I'm. I may be running that. I may be running the SLP can. I don't know yet, by the way. <laughs> It's I'm kind of caught between two sponsors, you know. So, whatever. I'll just be happy to run a sh uh, like regular shotgun that's not my MK1919. Although I love my MK1919, um, it puts me in a different class. For those of you that aren't familiar with three gun, it puts me in an unlimited class. So I want to be in a different class. So I have to run a different shotgun, which I don't have. So I'm thankful to have options as far as my two sponsors to help me out with that to lend me one. So. Um, yeah, that's awesome, though. So, and again, Toby, we'll, we'll, I'll bring some of those Men 2 mags out, too, so we can play with those, a couple that I have. But um, as I was saying earlier, and you might have missed it, I did a video on ru running one over with my truck, and that thing held up really well. So uh, for those of you out there, check out Men 2 mag. That's cool. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing them and uh, getting to beat on them a little bit myself. Yeah, absolutely. So... Thank you, everybody, for watching, and thank you again for the hospitality. So, last thing, our web page is in the process of being updated. We think it's going to answer all the questions, and uh, we've been trying to crank through this place and get it open. So, oh, we've know. been a little bit slow sometimes responding, but we look forward to seeing everybody when we get open. For, yeah, for those who don't know, Pete's been putting in a lot of hours doing this stuff. You know, I know it's it's a big deal. So. I actually had one day where Roy and I were sick of looking at guns. I'm embarrassed to say it, but... <laughs> that's that's heresy. That's blasphemy. You know. <laughs> Make the mean man take it back, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, I'm getting out the cross right now. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Everybody out there, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Uh, Bigger 81. You can also check out our website, too, bigger81.com. Uh, I do some updates on there, but more or less on social media and Instagram and that kind of stuff. But uh, thank you, everybody, for being on tonight. Thank, thank you, everybody, for watching. And uh, 
So next time, as I always say, go out and have some fun shooting. Thank you. Well.